Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE PE lesson, the last in the first chapter on the muscular and skeletal system. New videos will be posted each week, but today you'll learn everything you need to know on muscle fibre types. As always, we'll be focusing only on the learning objectives found in the official Cambridge textbook and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Our two learning objectives today are to identify the differences between fast and slow twitch muscle fibres and to explain how fast and slow twitch fibres impact on physical activities. What are you better at, sprinting or long distance running? Although there are numerous factors involved, the answer to this may well be found in your muscles. Now muscle fibres are the cells or basic building block of the muscle. Electrical impulses from the brain cause them to contract, enabling movement. Everyone has a mixture of different muscle fibre types, some of which are more suited to endurance activities, while others work best for short, high intensity bursts. The two types of muscle fibres we're gonna learn about today are known as slow twitch and fast twitch. Slow twitch muscle fibres are smaller fibres. They contract slowly, produce little force, but can continue to work for long periods of time without tiring. Fast twitch muscle fibres, on the other hand, are much thicker and produce considerably more force. They contract more quickly and powerfully than slow twitch fibres, but are lower in endurance and tire rapidly. Now, given this information, which type of muscle fibre do you think is being used in each of these scenarios? Before we look at sporting examples in greater depth, we need to examine the link between the two fibre types and the different ways in which the body produces energy during exercise. Aerobic exercise relies on oxygen to produce energy. Your heart rate and breathing rate increase to supply oxygen to the working muscles, allowing athletes to continue performing at low to moderate intensities over long periods of time. Aerobic exercise is therefore associated with slow twitch muscle fibres, and those who naturally have a high proportion of these fibres are more suited to endurance activities such as marathon running. Anaerobic exercise on the other hand is a short period of high intensity activity. Energy is provided quickly but athletes soon tire as fuel sources run out and lactic acid is produced as a byproduct. Those who have a higher proportion of fast twitch fibres are therefore more suited to anaerobic exercises including sprinting. I'd now like to present some examples from sport that illustrate the characteristics of each fibre type. Road cycling is a moderate intensity, high duration activity, with Tour de France race stages often exceeding 250 kilometers. It's therefore suitable for those who have a high proportion of slow twitch muscle fibers as they produce a limited amount of force but can continue to contract for long periods of time. During a hill climb or sprint finish, athletes recruit their fast twitch fibers as they switch over to an anaerobic energy supply. Power activities such as the shot put or triple jump involve short bursts of extremely high intensity work. They are therefore suitable for individuals with a high proportion of fast twitch fibers as they produce lots of force but tire more quickly. Now although we inherit our muscle fiber makeup from our parents, it is possible to train each muscle fiber type to work more efficiently. Team games such as football combine aerobic exercise with regular anaerobic bursts. Footballers may therefore choose to develop their slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers by using a combination of aerobic and strength or power-based training methods. Now we have already covered everything you need to know for lesson 1.6 on the muscle fibre types. To test your understanding, I suggest you pause the video now to identify the muscle fibre types that each of these athletes relies on. Try to also explain your choices if you can. Open water swimming is a low to moderate intensity and high duration activity. It's suited to those with a high proportion of slow twitch fibers. Vaulting is low in duration as it's over in a few seconds, but involves fast, powerful movements, meaning gymnasts typically have a higher proportion of fast twitch fibers. Netballers rely on slow twitch fibers as they can continue to contract for long periods of time, allowing players to continue moving around the court for the duration of the match. Fast twitch fibers are also important however, as the sport involves regular high intensity bursts, for example, when jumping to collect a high pass. Well done for completing today's lesson, but remember that repetition is the key. Make sure you revisit this information often and practice applying what you've learned by attempting past exam questions. You can find a link to a bank of Cambridge past papers and mark schemes in the description. As always, I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.